next time on Dragon Ball Super. Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here with a video discussing my thoughts on a recent thing that happened in Dragon Ball Super. It was pretty small, but it hints to something happening after the tournament that could be pretty big for the series. This is from episode 29 of Dragon Ball Super, which was great. And I wanted to review this episode, but you know, school and me being lazy kind of got in the way and... I think episode 32 comes out on Sunday, so it's kind of too late. It's been a few weeks. I don't really need to review the episode anymore. I just I just want you to know that I really enjoyed it, and I like the way that this the whole Champa arc is going. So about halfway through the episode, you know, episode 29, Bulma is talking about how there's no reason for the tournament because Champa could just wish for food on his planet instead of switching the two planets around. And Beerus talks about how the gods really just want to fight and that universes 6 and 7 should have their own sets of super dragon balls. But what was really interesting about this conversation was that Beerus said that if he was forced to make a wish, he would wish for the annihilation of the world. Goku seems pretty relaxed and thinks nothing of this, but... Well, he thinks nothing of this other than that Beerus won't be able to eat anymore. And the big part of the scene is that Beerus makes a menacing look, and Bulma is the only one to notice this. Now, of course you could be like, oh, this could just be like something that tricked the viewers, you know, make you think, oh yeah, Beerus could be evil or something like that, but... Why would the why would this be put into the series if it means nothing? I think even Akira Toriyama said that this arc would probably change the series or change the series till the end of Dragon Ball Super. So something big is going to happen. You know, this isn't just going to be a tournament. And it's like that in a lot of anime and mangas. You know, this isn't like whenever they do a tournament arc, it's not just a tournament arc. You know, I haven't seen many series where a tournament. I don't even know if I've seen any series where they have a tournament arc and nothing bad happens. Like, something bad always happens in a tournament arc. So, something's going to happen. That's, that's what I think, at least. And I was actually going back and forth wondering if Beerus was evil or not. And it's been like that since the movie. You know, ever since I watched the movie, it's like, is Beerus evil or not? And they have another movie, and then Beerus kind of... He doesn't really help them. It's like, it's more or less Whis that helps them, right? Like, we... Was Whis the, form, the one who formed the shield? I think Whis was the one who formed the shield in the last movie. So, I don't know, but Beerus is around, and he doesn't always seem evil. It's just like, maybe that's just like his quirkiness. You know, all the characters are, are different. They're silly acting or whatever. So, maybe that's just his quirkiness coming out. Now, my friend says that Beerus is evil, but to me, it just seems like he's part of the Dragon Ball family. Now... My mindset has kind of changed, and I don't think so, you know. I think it's going to end up where it's, it's going to be like, this guy has to be stopped. You know, Beerus is going to be, like, completely evil. And I think our heroes will end up winning the tournament, but Beerus will get the wish and wish for the destruction of the world. And it will either change the series forever, you know, till the end of Dragon Ball Super, or maybe it'll destroy one universe or something like that. And they'll have to go to another universe, and that would also be able to expand on, like, all these alternate universes and what like goes on there because I don't think they're gonna just like do universe 6 and universe 7 I think they're gonna at least cover a few more or something like that before the ending of Dragon Ball Super now Champa to me at least he seems like more of an honest guy compared to Beerus and I, I said this to someone they're like Champa seems good to you and I, I was like yeah Champa seems like a good guy I could see Champa working together with the heroes to stop Beerus and one more point before I end this video off Vegito. It's been talked about many times how if Goku and Vegeta fused, they would be able to beat Beerus and Golden Frieza. Well, I think either way they would have both been able to defeat Frieza. It's just like they would have been able to defeat Frieza easier if they fused together, you know, like that. They would have been like, whatever, what is it, like Big Bang, Kamehameha, they could have used that and then Frieza would have been done. Um, Beerus, I feel like Beerus, they'd be, like, more on equal footing or a little bit above Beerus if they were to fuse, not that they have the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan forms. And Goku and Vegeta have said that they don't want to fuse, but it's been brought up too much to not be a thing sooner or later. And I like that they've been teasing this, you know, the seed has been planted and they're slowly watering it until it turns into a flower or something and they start fusing <laughs> and they defeat Beerus. And I think at this point, Goku and Vegeta can't beat Beerus, but they're getting closer and closer. Maybe they'll get a new form, or maybe they'll do a little bit more training, and they'll be able to defeat Beerus, you know. They just need a little bit 
you know, a little push to defeat Beerus, and maybe that push will be fusion, you know, fusion will make their power levels jump up, and they will be able to take out Beerus, um, at this point, and I'm sure eventually they'll try to take out Beerus on their own, but at the end of the day, fusion is what they need to do to defeat this guy, they're going to come to that option when they have nothing else, you know, they're going to be on the ground defeated, and it's like, Goku's going to be like, hey, Vegeta, I know we said we wouldn't fuse, but I think it's time because we don't have anything else to do <laughs> or something like that. And I'm not sure how the other fighters will fit into this, but I think they'll be staying around for a little bit too. Some of the characters seem a little bit ominous. I'm talking about the characters from the other universe, you know, from Chompa's universe. So I'm sure we'll see some of them in this evil Beerus arc or whatever. And I don't think Beerus will be killed off. You know, it makes more sense for them to wish for him to be good or never become evil again or for, you know, them to go back, like, right before Beerus made his wish or something like that. And Shinron's power doesn't affect Beerus, so I think they'll have to search for the Super Dragon Balls again, which will also make the arc a little bit longer, and it fits in with Beerus bringing up the sets of the Super Dragon Balls in Universe 6 and 7. So, um, well, actually, I'm going to talk about that in a second. But hopefully this potential arc brings some danger back into the series. And maybe if Beerus destroys one universe, they can't use the Dragon Balls until it's restored. So the people who die after that won't be coming back. And they will also have to go to another universe to search for the Dragon Balls. So that brings in the Super Dragon Balls into the arc and makes them a little bit more useful. Anyways, that's it for me. Tell me what you think about this insane theory. I just had to compliment myself there because I thought this was a great theory that I came up with. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sermo11 and my social media is in the description. See you next time and peace out.